friends. Hi, hello, how are you? Happy October 1st. What better way to kick off a month than do a vlog with you guys? <laughs> no, I figured this would be a fun vlog to do together because the mister and I are heading up to the mountains and we are gonna go camping for a few days. So I absolutely love this trip. Unfortunately, we were not able to go do this camping trip last year, but um, here we are this year. Sean just picked up the RV, so we're gonna load it up. And we're gonna head up to the mountains. I absolutely love this trip because we lose service. So it literally forces us, as my phone goes off, <laughs> it literally forces us to disconnect and really just, be together and enjoy nature and we go fishing and it's just it's just a lot of fun and I feel like both of us really need this right now so uh, I'm really excited for it so like I said Sean just picked up the RV so we are going to load it up and hit the road and clearly I need to answer my phone <laughs> welcome to the vlog friends Oh, there's Blinky. <laughs> Well, hello, sir. Hello, good morning. This is a nice ride you got. Yes, ma'am. Let's fill it up and get out of here. Yeah, let's go. All right. And just like that, quicker than a quick thing, we've got the rig all loaded up. I don't know if you can see. We've got everything all loaded up and we are ready to rock and roll and go live in the wilderness. We're really, really excited. And fun little twist this go around, as I promised you, that in each vlog there will be a What's Lisa Smelling. So we are doing a What's Lisa Smelling camping edition. Let's go. Let's go. So Sean already picked all the scents and everything and he hid them somewhere. <laughs> so we're gonna do What's Lisa Smelling while we're camping with you guys. So really, really fun. We have just hit the road. It is 1046. So that should, how, how long till we get there? Uh, three hours and 25 minutes. Three hours and 25 minutes. Let's go. We are going, um, this is a noisy house. Yeah. <laughs> um, we are going up to Stanley. That is our favorite spot to go camping. Unfortunately, over this summer, they had really, really, really bad fires. So that's gonna be a little heartbreaking to drive through, but um, happy that they were able to get the fires out and we are able to still go and enjoy our camping experience there. So let's go friends, let's go camping.
Well, friends, we made it to camp. So we are so, so excited. Um, it was really sad to see all the the burn damage from the recent fires, but uh, just glad that there is still a Stanley, some, some of Stanley <laughs> left and definitely our favorite camping spot. And we have the whole campsite to ourselves, at least for now. Um, last time, last time we were here, I actually was vlogging and it was so funny. It was while I was vlogging that like a whole caravan of, of like six or like 10 cars came like driving in, but they only stayed the night and then they left. But since it is kind of middle of the week, uh, I'm hoping that it'll just stay super quiet over here. So uh, I am excited and now we are going to unpack everything and I'll give you a little tour of our crib <laughs> here in a little bit, um, but we are gonna set up a windbreak and everything and just kind of get settled in. So oh, I'm so excited. It is so beautiful up here. have our windbreak all set up our little this is our little living room isn't it so cute I'll give you guys the full tour when we like fully unpack um it's so funny I'm, I'm already like totally checked out <laughs> like I've just been like sitting in my chair and Sean's a busy bee over here I'm like should I be doing something <laughs> he's like nah we're good uh but yeah so also really really happy for I know this doesn't look like anything uh, but that's because we were super lucky uh, before the um, body wipes were launched, we got to be like a tester. So I still have a couple packs of these unmarked body wipes from Sensi, and these are so perfect for camping. <laughs> so really, really excited for that. I took my wood. Yeah, so Sean was just here last week. Um, Sean was just here last week with his stepdad camping in the same exact spot. This is like, this is like our spot. Uh, and he's Sean's so sweet so he actually put a little like note on the wood Lisa insert picture here and so he was like I'll be right back please don't take my wood well guess what some little jerks took our wood <laughs> it's literally just a couple of days and they was it over there is that yeah, any they, of your so yeah. they left, they left like three of the <laughs> Pile he had a he had a big old pile of wood and now there's like three small pieces of wood left <laughs> so nice so nice and we met a potential neighbor i don't know if the camera picked it up or not but when we were setting up our windbreak this guy drove in and he came over asking a little bit about kind of the area and where to camp and he was wanting to camp over at Stanley Lake, which is where everything was just on fire. So he was just kind of asking if he, if we thought that it would be open or not, but uh, then he continued on. So he's, he's not our neighbor right now, but who knows, he may come back. So we'll see, but we're just kind of getting settled in here. And then, oh yes, oh yes, all of the cotton cleanups. <laughs> I know I just recently did a video. Um, well, actually, one of my girlfriends saw Sean's post. Gosh, this smells good. <laughs> ah, smells so good. Um, 
Sean made a post with the cotton cleanups in in the fire, and she's like, "What? What are you? What are you? What are you doing with the cotton cleanups? <laughs> They're fire starters. These things are fantastic fire starters. So if you use cotton cleanups, save your used ones. It smells amazing, and they are great fire starters. So, all right, I guess." You know, the man's working over here, so I guess I should stop jabbering and help him get set up. But I'll, I'll give you, who knows, I may give you a tour tomorrow, maybe tonight. We'll see. But I gotta help him get settled in, so. Okay, we're leaving our little outdoor home for a moment. And we're gonna go try to fish. We're not gonna try to fish. We are gonna fish. And we might catch something, like an amazing steelhead. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. Let's go. You guys, this water is so clear you can actually see the fish it's amazing so i'm gonna try to hit one of them in the head <laughs> with some shrimp and see if it wants to bite i'm so excited we're gonna catch a freaking steelhead let's do it Well, friends, we made it back to camp with no fish. It was the most insane thing. And I mean, Sean, Sean already told me that this is how it is, but like these fish are jerks. Like you can literally see it. At one point I actually hit the fish with my bait and it's like, no, I'm good. I'm not hungry. Stop bothering me. Go away. What even is that? What is that? I'm not done. I'm gonna catch one of those steelhead. <laughs> I'm going to. We are gonna go back. That was like a little uh, gold dredge. Yep. Gold dredge. Um, so it's basically like lake fishing, a very, very small lake. Um, so I think we are, are we still gonna go to some of our spots? Yeah, yeah. I think, so, I think we'll probably start there. These bees are loving you. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's October and it's freaking hot. What is this? But it is gonna cool down into the 20s tonight, so it's gonna be great. So no fish for dinner tonight. Instead, we will have hot links and chips and live our very best camp 
camping lifestyle. And then as soon as the sun goes down, we will be lighting a fire and it's gonna be great. So, hot links it is. I am gonna get that steel head though. I'm going to. It only took Sean like several years, yeah. but I'm gonna get it on the first try. <laughs> Second try. Now. Second try. And how cute is this little Weber grill? Uh, Sean previously had a like tabletop barbecue situation that wound up breaking and then um, we're team Weber. So uh, it's really nice. It just like collapses down and it's just the perfect little barbecue. In fact, we use it not only for camping, but for all the time because <laughs> it's just such a great little barbecue. So love it. Okay, look at those, uh. look at those hot links. All right. Almost, about to pop. Okay. And then, yeah, Sean just got this little like griddle situation for it as well, so pretty perfect. I love it. So that is the Weber Traveler. Yes, not the USC Traveler. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and good morning from the mountains. Hey, hey, hey friends, it is 11.30 and the Roeberry is here, slept in till like 10. The last time I did that was the last time we were here, <laughs> which was two years ago. Um, but we are ready and excited to get this day started. You're clear. We are going to head back to the dredge and see if I can snag. A Where were we? Sean is just trying to kill us. That's all. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, we just hit a little, a little curb. Well, it's not a curb. Yeah, just took a turn a little too fast, maybe. Yeah, it ended up in the ditch a little bit. We ended up in the ditch. <laughs> but everything's okay. The RV's okay. We're okay. We're all good. Um, as I was saying, uh, we are going to go head back to the dredge where the steelhead were, or are, hopefully still there. <laughs> um, and we're gonna try to catch one. So if, we're just gonna spend like maybe 30 minutes here, and then uh, we'll head up the rivers and try to snag us a rainbow trout. Um, last night was absolutely amazing. I didn't film at all, just soaking it all in and just really enjoying nature and everything. It was fantastic. So had a really great night and we are ready to have a fantastic day today. So let's catch some fish. Are you gonna catch a steelhead? Uh, you are. Could you please catch a steelhead? No, you're gonna catch it. I would like to, <laughs> let's do it. So I didn't tell you, we wound up with a neighbor, Patty, or no, Patty, Betty. I named her Betty the Bat. Uh oh. We had a bat. <laughs> um, it was just, you know, she, she left us alone, but it was funny. It was just when like it was getting dark and our gravity chairs like really like reclined back. And so one of my favorite things is just reclining all the way back and just looking at the sky and the mountain next to us and all the things. So Sean and I are just staring. <laughs> He goes, pretty bird. And I was like, that's a bat. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, that's a bat. And then it was like circling around the trees around us. And yeah, it was it was a whole thing. And I'm pretty sure we heard her chirping too, a little bit. And then I was chirping back and Sean was like, could you not? <laughs> so um, in case you are wondering what my outfit of the day is, we do have our neon pants. Ne if you don't know, neon pants are my good luck charm for, these are some she fit leggings. They're fantastic and they bring me good luck every time we go fishing. So they are my go-to. I have neon green, which is what I'm wearing today. And then I have like neon hot salmon egg pink. So that'll be for tomorrow. Let's catch some fish, shall we? Thank you. 
right, y'all, we are on the Salmon River, and here's hoping we can get us some dinner for tonight. Let's do this. This spot was not successful. We didn't even have a bite. <laughs> you haven't had a bite? <laughs> Ever since we've been here. What is even happening? Um, but we saw them and that, that that's the most frustrating part with this river fishing and the pond fishing and all of the fishing. We can see that they're there. <laughs> and then they're just like, no, I'm good. I'm good. So here we are off to the next spot. All right, y'all, so we are here at the next spot, which is typically our like honey hole spot where we can usually, uh, where we usually don't have a hard time catching fish. Um, we did have some friends that were here <laughs> um, as we came and they said that they haven't had any luck catching any fish, but they're taking off. So we're gonna move down underneath the bridge and see if we have better luck there. Fish like to hang out underneath bridges, which is kind of a strange thing, but, but it, it's a thing. Right, Sean? Right. <laughs> All right. Here, I know. <laughs> All right, we're going to move down and hopefully catch some fish. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in, somewhere I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky In the dark against it all But made it through the day Cause I found my way I found my way In bad times I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way sure if any of that comes out it's so hard to see in like the daylight 
looked if we're in frame or not, but we caught, we actually caught four fish, but we let one go. So we have three delicious fishies for dinner tonight, which is fantastic. So we love that. And I cleaned my very first fish. Yeah. <laughs> not a huge fan, I'll say, but I got it done. So now we are actually gonna head back to that little dredge and try to get the steelhead. <laughs> Every day we're gonna start and we're gonna finish with the steelhead dredge because we really wanna bring one home. So we'll see. I'm not I don't have the battery power for for that shenanigans. Um, but I'll check in with you in just a little bit. We'll we'll let you know how the steelhead dredge goes. Alright, y'all, we are back at camp. Still no luck with the steelhead. It is so frustrating because they're right there, <laughs> they're right there. And you literally drop the bait right in front of their face and they're just like, I don't care. If you see me looking to the side, it's because Betty the Bat is back. <laughs> you guys, I, I, I know that they eat bugs and stuff and that's fantastic. I want it to go ha have its bug buffet somewhere else. <laughs> I am super outdoorsy, if you couldn't tell. Um, but we are back at camp. We ate our dinner, absolutely delicious. All three fish, it wound up working out really well because one fish was like pretty decent size. The other two were pretty small. So we were able to have one and a half fish together. So um, it was really good. And we had some rice with it. It was fantastic. Really, really love it. Um, and my hair's not oily, it's wet because thanks to the RV, what? <laughs> Sean's looking at me through the window and he's like, what are you doing? Um, oh yeah, guys, this bat, it's batty. <laughs> um, but yeah, we made it back and one of the beautiful things about the RV is that you have access to a shower. That is my favorite part of glamping. <laughs> I'm like, I am here for not being super stinky and dirty. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so Betty the Bat is back. So I figured, and it was the same exact time last night. So it must be like dinner time. So, you know, I hope she lives her very best life and eats all the bugs and maybe goes that away. <laughs> but if she's making some circles, I will try to get it on camera. She's little, but she's, she's coming pretty close. So we'll see if I can catch her. Can you guys see it? It's flying like right around those trees. Come on camera focus. I'm sure it'll be back. It's like flying around those trees. There, can you see it? Right there. Ooh. Find some different trees, sis. Oh, see, it's coming close. You see it? Ah, my camera because of the light. Do you guys see it? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is more than what I'm comfortable with. Yeah, they're driving me a little batty. Yeah. Oh, you guys, I know we're in your house, but can you just vacate? <laughs> All right, y'all, it's fire time. We have our cotton cleanups in there as our little fire starter. We have our tissues from dinner. We have the carcasses from the fish. And currently we have no bats <laughs> at the moment.
Hey friends, hello and good morning from the mountains. It is our last full day here at camp. I know, I'm real sad, I'm real sad. Um, oh, there that goes the, another one. That's the one that stole it. Yeah. <laughs> there are a ton, you're thinking bats, there are a ton of those, but there's a ton of chipmunks that are out here and they're just like hanging out, eating their very best, living their best life. <laughs> I just dropped an F-bomb, but I just cut that out. Uh, it's just, they're so cute. We, they're so cute. And we just fed the one at our campsite some potato chips, and it's just so funny, like, so cute. Anyways, um, did I tell you the one at our campsite? We named him Charlie, so he's so cute. So we are going to kick off this day the same way that we did yesterday and the same way we ended yesterday, the same way we ended the very first day. <laughs> We're gonna try for a freaking steelhead. That's right, I, I'm feeling it today. I'm also wearing my, um, my salmon egg pink pants, so that's always good luck. So I'm hopefully thinking that they'll see my pants and they'll think, you know what? She looks like a good time. Let's do this. So here's hoping. Is today gonna be the day? It is the day. But when we were eating breakfast, Sean was like, well, good thing you know how to how to clean out a fish now. So that when you get your steelhead, I'm like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am not prepared for that. <laughs> so I don't know. Let's let's go and try our best. We know that they're there. It's just a matter of finding them on a hungry day, clearly. All right, Sean, today's the day. We're doing it. It is the day. We're doing it. We are dividing and conquering in this little pond. Sean is using shrimp for bait. I am using, well, I'm gonna start off with the garlic salmon eggs because who doesn't love garlic? <laughs> How cute is this, you guys? These little fish that are in here, I, I, call the, I say that they're dancing. <laughs> they just jump out of the water like crazy. Like they're like dancing. They're so cute. Okay, back to fishing.
Well, friends, after lots and lots and lots of fishing, there were, there were no steelhead. <laughs> Well, we saw the steelhead. We played with them a bunch this camping trip, but <laughs> but there was no catching of them. So, um, so there's that. But Sean did catch an amazing trout today, and we actually split it because it was it was so big. So that was great, and we caught some cutthroat trout. Are they trout? Yep. Cutthroat trout and a few super feisty rainbows, and just let, set them free. Um, if you see me. <laughs> If you see me looking off to the side, it's because we had our visitors tonight. Um, no, I'm not even joking you. Sean and I, we felt like we were held hostage inside the RV because this thing, the, the bats, the bats are back. <laughs> the bats are back. And it's just such a trip because Sean was just here with Mario. And he, we were just saying that he's camped in this exact spot for like 10 years now. <laughs> and never once seen a bat encounter but we're here in the same spot and every night at the same time and they're getting like more comfortable with like being around people i guess um it hit the window it actually hit the window it was sitting on this tree right here i so sean and i are inside i was like it's right there it's on the tree it's on the tree he's like where like it's literally like right there he was looking at a tree that was further out he didn't realize it was here right here you can't even make this stuff up you just you can't so we're we're standing <laughs> for the moment just probably another maybe five minutes or so um just because it's flying really low now <laughs> so i'm sure it's fine but i don't like i know it's after bugs not after us but we can never be too sure. So with all of that being said, what's least or smelling is going to be happening when we get home, potentially tomorrow or um, this weekend at some point, because your girl here is not gonna sit here blindfolded while there's a ravenous bat that's out here somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, Sean was like, oh, we have to do what's least or smelling. I'm like, the F we do? <laughs> no, not when there's bats flying around and like low so um while it's a super fun idea just imagine maybe we'll have to break out the the green screen oh yeah and do, and do a woods like we're actually back in the woods so all right we've got our fire started i think the bats are gone so i think we're gonna try to chill for a little bit and uh yeah we'll check in with you a little later if the bats don't eat us Hey friends, hi, hello, good morning. It is just a little past 7.30 on Friday and we are getting ready to go home. You can see our campsite is all broken down and we are all packed up and ready to go. This is always the sad part. <laughs> it always goes so fast and it's just so nice to just have just great quality time together and no internet. <laughs> Um, even though we were, we did stay connected with you guys, but it's just, it's just so good. It's so good. It's so good for the soul. And this has been an amazing trip. So it's time to pack up and go home, but we will still do what's Lisa smelling. I'm just not messing around with these bats out here. They did leave us alone once the sun went down. I, I mean, who knows? They probably were like, I was going to say swimming. <laughs> Clearly we did a lot of fishing. Um, I, they could have been flying right over us and we wouldn't have known. But as long as I don't see them, it's fine. So we're gonna pack, well, we're all packed up. So now it's time to head home. The saddest sight ever, not seeing the wind break up, not seeing any of our stuff out. But I'm gonna come, just check out the stream one last time. This is what we got to listen to for the last few days. So relaxing. Nothing else like it. Hey friends, so clearly we are on the way home and I just realized I never gave them a, a crib tour. It's okay, you don't, you don't want a crib tour. <laughs> this is a great RV, but oh man, this camping trip has been one for the books. Or the, the, the same CR Yo MTV Cribs from from two years two ago. Years ago. It's the same exact RV. Uh, which, by the way, we don't own this RV. Um, there's a place that rents RVs that's near the house that is fantastic. And we always rent RVs from there. But yeah, this is 
will probably be our last time. This will probably be our last time. Okay, so not only did we have the bats, I forgot to tell you guys this morning, we also had some new visitors last night. Mice. Yeah, that's right. Mice. It, I was, where my camping chair was, was right next to a little bush, and I could hear some rustling. And I just thought it was a cute little chipmunk because Sean decided it was a good idea to feed the chipmunks. Oh, no, okay. Well, okay, okay, no, 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 because I did say, he, he was like, I said, oh, I wish I had something to give you, but I know you're gonna tell your friends and you guys are gonna be all up in our business. And Sean goes and grabs, right, did I not say that? Yeah. And Sean goes and grabs potato chips. It was the cutest thing ever, and I, I did take some pictures, so freaking cute. And you could just hear him like nibbling, so cute. Oh, so cute. But <laughs> he did tell his friends, and he got kind of feisty there towards the end of the day when we were like building our fire. He was actually in our the fire pit where we were putting all of like the the discarded like uh, fish things and stuff, and just to burn it up. Anyways, fast forward, we have the bat encounter, and then we're ready to finally settle down. It's getting dark, and I hear some rustling in the bush that's right next to me, and I thought it was the chipmunk. So I grab. The, the flashlight and I flash it. No, it's a mouse. It's a teeny tiny little mouse, but it's a mouse. I'm like, okay. So this thing is like hanging out with us and finally we like well, get when, it. When you hit it with the light, then it just. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. Like I've, I've, you know, you figure mice move really fast and they do, but I hit it with the flashlight. It was like, oh, I got caught. And it was just like, I'm just going to see myself out. Like it just like meandered away so slowly. It was so funny. But anyway, so then Sean found their home that was in the rock that was next to where we've been sitting for the last several days. Uh, there was a big old crack in the rock and that's where they had their like nest and house and all that stuff. So there were a few in there. Oh no. So we scare them away. So what we like to do on our way home is come about an hour outside of camp and then pull over, make some sandwiches. These sandwiches were gonna be so good, you guys. So good. Can you see where this is going? So pull over, I go to make our sandwiches. I open the drawer where the bread is and the cutting board and all of that stuff. And the marshmallows from our s'mores, all the, all the good stuff. That mouse got in here <laughs> because there was nibbles on on the on the packaging of the bread and I looked at Sean I was like this this was not like that <laughs> there is a hole there is a hole right into the bread I'm like oh no and then I looked down into the um it, into the drawer where I had the marshmallows and there is a marshmallow that's like half eaten like and you can see it's like ah! the freaking mouse was in here it, I mean I don't think it's in here anymore at one point it was having a buffet let me tell you so while we're like out there shooing it out of its house it's like that's fine I'm gonna come in your house eat your marshmallows eat your marshmallows I'm so upset that sandwich was gonna be so good so instead we did have some sealed up Cheez-Its so breakfast of champions right here we are gonna have our Cheez-Its and hurry the F home. <laughs> and now we're like, oh my gosh, like I don't think it's in here anymore. But now we're like, we have our bags of clothes. We have like all the, all the food is trash. We're gonna have to toss all the food. Um, now we're like, like it could be in our bags of clothes. It could be like in anything. And Sean brought up a really good point too. Like we had a bag of trash outside at camp. Like why was it not nibbling on that? Man, that sandwich is gonna be so good. Yeah, not no more. Not no more. Now we gotta snack on some Cheez-Its and hurry home. Yeah. And somehow empty this thing with the potential of a mouse popping out and being like, what's up? <laughs> if you love mice, comment below. If you love mice, comment below. Oh my gosh. I'm, I, while we love camping, I'm clearly not very outdoorsy. I'm like, no bats, no bugs. Well, no, and we're, doing the math on how many times I've been up there. Yes. And all the years, I mean, I think this is the eighth year, probably 10 different camping trips, well over 30 days that I've stayed out there and not a single time have I ever seen a little field mouse. Uh, certainly not in an RV or in our tent. <laughs> no right? bats. Never seen a bat, nothing. 
It's crazy. We're just making memories. Just making memories. Hey friends, it definitely has not been like two weeks. I definitely have not gotten my hair cut and colored. <laughs> But here we are. Oh my gosh. Hi friends. So we have been to, so obviously clearly we were camping, came back. Uh, Sean and I had some leadership training at home office for a week. Now we're just kind of settling back in and getting back into our regular routine. So, but we still have to do what's Lisa smelling. I keep my promise. I said that there would be a what's Lisa smelling out there, out there, even though, Hey, bats had other plans. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but we are going to do what's Lisa smelling now, as well as a little Stanley camping haul. What? Did you say bats? I did say bats. Check this out. Oh my gosh. How cute you guys look at my new warmer. It's freaking bats. <laughs> I am obsessed. I, I, I have always thought that this warmer was cute, but it didn't really go with my decor. But now, now we're making it fit because, well, now I've got some sentimental attachment to this because of <laughs> our camping experience. So this will actually stay out all year. I don't even care. I'll just move it around. But a uh, huge shout out to my girl, Carol, because she had this. We recently had a harvest and Halloween sale since he did with some of these warmers and bar bundles and stuff. And of course we went camping right after that sale ended. So otherwise I would have picked it up myself, but um, reached out to some local consultants and my friend Carol had one, so she hooked it up. So I love it. So now that we are back home, I want to get this vlog up. <laughs> There's actually another vlog that's supposed to go up before this one. Who knows if that's going to go up, but uh, this one I really do want to get up. So we do need to finish it. So we are going to go ahead and do some What's Lisa smelling. We're also going to do a little Stanley camping haul because they had this cute little shop um, called Made in Idaho and it was all like things made in Idaho by like local small businesses and, and all of that stuff. So figured we would go ahead and do this haul, do some what's Lisa smelling and close out this vlog. All right, friends. So clearly you can see I changed my shirt. I also got a shirt. It's freaking bats. <laughs> so and socks, too. and socks too. Basically, if there's anything with bats on it, I, I want it to commemorate <laughs> our camping it experience. Bat woman now. It was, that was terrifying. What are we, what are we going to do for, are we going to do our haul first? Yeah. Or what's, okay. Okay. Let's yeah. do our haul first. So yeah, we stopped in there that made in Idaho. Uh, I, I was talking to the owner dude and it was like, man, all these years are coming up here and I can't <laughs> believe this is our first time. And it's like, yeah, I've only been here three years. <laughs> so. But you, do you recall seeing that shop last year, the year before? Yeah. You do? No. Oh, well, why'd you lie? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, it was, so it's relatively new anyway. Yeah. Yep. It's all relative. Uh, so yeah, we just went through the shop. Pretty cool shop. Uh, they had some really good photography or, uh, some good, uh, pictures there. Uh, really good photographer, uh, mm -hmm. that we would sure like to get some of his work. Uh, cause we're, uh, just team Stanley through and through. We forget yes. that's like the, the, it's like our playground. That's our great, the, our happy place out there. Uh, so one of the things that we got there, obviously, uh, in honor of the steelhead that I caught, uh, we had to get a new a steelhead mug. Mug. So cute. And thanks to Sean's mom, Priscilla, calling me out and saying, oh, well, that can be Sean's mug because you haven't caught a steelhead. That's right. <laughs> yeah, thanks. she was throwing all kinds of shade. I think it's shade. Is it, is it shade, uh, as uh, the kids say? I don't know. Is it still shade or, <laughs> or drippy res or, or what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, new mug, uh, and in all actuality, I'll be the one using the mug because the only mugs he likes to use are metal because they hold the heat in better. Just a little fun fact about Sean. Hope that's okay that I aired your dirty laundry out there. Yep, no problem. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we've got the Sawtooth Range. That's the mountain range that's out there. Beautiful mountain range. Some shot glasses. We collect shot glasses from our adventures, so thanks. Uh, this here is a photo holder. In the shape of Idaho, and then my idea was that we could put, oops, sorry, put, uh, <laughs> uh, put a couple of, or put a picture of uh, the two years that we went to Stanley, uh, do a little pick collage, if mm -hmm. you will. Yep. And you will. And I will. And then we got some more wood art here in the shape of Idaho. We have the beautiful mountains. We have some forest. And then, of course, we have Sasquatch there in the middle. Yeah. And where are we? And where are we? We are here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, 
so fun. In fact, did you guys know? Actually, you don't because you're going to see this in like a week. But tomorrow we're getting snow. No, we're not. Stanley's getting snow. But we're not in snow. <laughs> Every time, so on the news, so we're having a good little cool down here in the next couple of days. And uh, so I tell Sean, like, we're getting snow. Like, we're not getting snow. It's in the mountains. Yeah, they're, like, yeah. they're talking about the mountain forecast, not the valley forecast. We're in the valley, not the mountains. But I mentally, I'm in the mountains. Yeah. So mentally, I'm getting snow. So anyways. So. So we got that and then probably my favorite thing ever this is going to seem really, really random for those of you who don't know, but if you're an OG and to the vlogs, you may be familiar, but we got, <laughs> we got this Sunbeam Hot Springs, Stanley, Idaho sign. So you're probably like, what's the big deal? Hot Springs freak me out. <laughs> um, it's just, and, but I love, I love the fact that so many people can go and like, sit in these hot springs that I like to refer to as earth spas there. I know they're like, they have found like therapeutic benefits and like the mineral. It's like, it's like a whole thing and you feel so much better after, but it just, it's weird to me. Like, yeah. And you don't want to come out smelling like sulfur sulfur because every time you drive by, it smells like sulfur. And I'm just like, Oh my God, it smells so bad. <laughs> it's just so, Anyways, the hot, the hot springs kind of freaks me out a little bit. And so we saw this sign and thought this is perfect and we need it for the house. So this is my favorite thing ever. Yeah. So I'm really excited. Yeah. So now I got to hang it. Now, now you need to hang Comment it. Comment below where I should hang it. Yes. <laughs> and if you like hot springs, it's so funny. We've got friends who love hot springs and I'm not, please know that I'm not like insulting you in any kind of way. I just, it's a personal, it's like, it's a me problem that I need to work through. I, I think it would be really great. And I, feel like even if we were to go to some of those like fancy hot springs that like looks like it's like like a pool indoors and it looks like a pool mentally i'd probably be a little bit better with it yeah yeah so like this sunbeam one is uh just outside of camp there then you pass by it and you can just see a line of uh subaru outbacks <laughs> pull over on the side and everybody is just down <laughs> down there it's so funny and it, it really is a thing like if you drive a subaru you love hot springs and again that's not an insult we have our friend trina I, she has a subaru and i was like hey i gotta ask you a serious question do you like hot springs she's like i we love hot springs <laughs> so all this stuff and i was like it's so funny because every time we drive by hot springs there's su a line of subarus and she's like yeah it's because we're the only ones that can get there. <laughs> I'm like, okay, touche. Yeah. But so funny. Yeah. Any, if you are near a hot spring, uh, pay attention to the cars that are out there. Nine times out of 10, they're Subarus. Yeah. So much so that when we're driving on the highway there and we pass by a Subaru, they're like, oh, they're on their way to the hot springs. <laughs> oh, they're just leaving the hot springs. They're just leaving the hot springs. It's a thing. I can uh, help it. Yeah. So we hopefully uh, don't take any offense to that. If no. you... We're, we're just, we're fine. We're just having a good time. We are a good time. All right, buckle up, Buckaroo. Let's do this. Do you even remember what you picked? Uh, no, point? but I got. I took photos. Okay, that's right, because we weren't gonna have service. Screenshots. Yep. Okay, hold on, hold on. Don't pull anything out yet. I need to tighten this. No problem. Hold on. What? Maybe. Okay. Hold on. Well, hold on. Okay, we're tight. We're good. How many, how many fingers am I holding up? Seven. Seven, that is correct. Actually, we did not check this bag for the mouse. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not. We just got our final bill back from the oh yeah uh, RV place. Only did ninety one dollars in damage. Yeah, did we guys? I, yeah, we did tell. Yeah, you guys were experiencing the the breakage of the step. Yes. I don't know if we told you, but the when our earth was rocked, Sean broke the step. Bent it. Bent it. Slightly. Only $91 worth. Yeah, I was actually surprised. I thought it was going to be like a thousand bucks. Yeah, so it wasn't too bad. So they take, uh, they hold $1,500 deposit and then they'll just subtract the 91 and we get the other money back. Good to go. See you guys next year. Uh, okay, uh, Magic 8 Ball. Oh. No, I'm, I, I have it. Let me ask how many. Okay. How many? Oh, um, am I going to get five, correct? Let me see. Outlook looks positive. Okay. Nice. Okay. It's All freaking right. bats. 
bats. There we go. It's freaking bats. I think we should call this vlog. It's freaking bats. Freaking bats. The rowberries get batty outdoors. There you go. All right, here we go. Uh, okay, yep, here we go. Number one. Nice easy one to start. Oh boy. Oh, skinny dipping. That's it. Woo! It's freaking bats, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Oop, sorry. <sighs> We've got the dogs moving. Number two. They're like, oh, mom's off a rocker again. Oh, I love this. It's bakery. Oh, is this pumpkin roll? Yes, it is. Two for two. Okay. Nice. All right, here we go. Number three. Wow. Oh, I love this too. This one, you're kind of stumping me a little bit just because this is more springy, spring and summer. This is fruity. <sighs> but I love it. Um, fruity floral. I'm going to say Bora Bora Blossom. I'm going to say correct. <laughs> yeah. Talk about okay. a fast episode. Mm, 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 Let's mm. keep that momentum going. All right, uh, uh, number four. This is number four. Oh boy, number four, you're always throwing me through somewhere. Oh, but this is Seabreeze. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah, it is. Woo, 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 woo! Wow. <laughs> Dang. This might be the fastest one yet. I know. Wow, okay, uh, number five. <sighs> this is Apple. Um, is this, um, this is, is this apple spice season? That is correct. Oh my gosh, I cannot even believe this. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I almost said apple and cinnamon sticks, but this one's better. This is a little bit sweeter, and I love it. Wow, this. that's got juicy apple and pumpkin in there. It's so good. Sparkling spices. Oh, it's so good. Wow. I'm actually obsessed with apple spice season. The haul and the game is still shorter than the normal game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Uh, wow, number six. I am amazed. You made excellent choices this time. Oh, this is Twitter painted. Yes, it is. Oh, I love this one. Was my dad's favorite scent. Oh. Oh, I love it. I. Oh, but we're not done yet. What? Extra credit. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what all I'm expecting, but. <sighs> okay. Oh. Oh, we have a Christmas tree. Careful that top uh, isn't very secure. There you go. <laughs> okay. There you go. Is yeah. that better? Yeah. This is the salted caramel cider. Seven for seven, <laughs> folks. Ladies and gentlemen, I what? present to you. Best, wow. what's Lisa smelling? And I didn't even have coffee beans? Nope. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you were gonna go easy on me because we were gonna be out in the wilderness, but I'm yeah. a big fan of what happened here. Well, the skinny dipping definitely, you know, I tried to throw you a bone in the beginning. And then uh, I was trying to go uh, fall and then hit you with a spring. And then fall, hit you with a spring. And yeah. Then, and then Twitter painted because we were out camping. So with the, oh, yeah. with the deer. Yeah. Oh, you're so good. Yeah. Is, yeah, you did really good. Is that a, a mouse that the deer stomped? No, that's a rabbit. That's uh, Thumper. Oh. That's Thumper and Bambi. There we go. Not a mouse. Although the mouse looked like that. Is there a mouse in there? Oh, no, our mouse? No, the mouse. Yeah, yeah. the mouse. The gray mouse that ate all of our marshmallows. There's not a mouse in Bambi's movie. Not that I'm aware of. Wow. This makes me kind of sad that that was so easy. I'm sorry, <laughs> that was probably not easy. But uh, sorry if that wasn't, if that was boring for you guys, but that was excellent for <laughs> yeah, me. So was, I do appreciate that. That was a good time for you. Huh? <laughs> Nice. All right, I guess we're done here. Goodbye. <laughs> it's freaking bats, man. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and end on that note <laughs> because that's probably the best what's Lisa smelling that we've ever had in the years that we've been vlogging. And um, if we want to keep this vlogging juju up, we're just going to go ahead and end on that note. <laughs> that, that might have been the last one we ever do.
do. No, it's not. It's not the last one we ever do. So, but now we can hang up our new Stanley decor and we can enjoy all of the things. So there you have it, friends. Thank you guys so much. I know that this camping vlog wasn't maybe as exciting or eventful. Well, no, this was more eventful than the last one. That's for sure. Yeah. It's freaking bats. Hopefully the footage will have caught our batty friends, but yeah, if not, take my word for it. They were there up close and personal. So, all right, friends, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us during this vlog. We greatly appreciate the love and support. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do like the vlogs with us. They're not always this outdoorsy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we greatly appreciate the love and support. If you're new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with everything these rowberries have going on around here. So, all right, you guys have an amazing day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye friends. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnapped me, take me back. All the way back to them days Running around In a gown and a crown Barefoot No mistake ever kept me Spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates One big smile across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace Daydreamer Oh, he's up. We're way back out again. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Come on, get it out of there. <laughs> Who do we have here? Is this little guy? <laughs> uh, this is Terry. Terry? Terry, it's your lucky day, my friend. Oh, he's a juicy one. Uh, we're gonna let you go, bud. <laughs> go, buddy. Bye. <laughs>
We've got a feisty one. Is this the guy who ate all your bait? Oh, it's another cutthroat, I think. Yeah, I think it's another cutthroat. Yep. Oh, buddy. Chill out, bro. Chill out, man. It's not that serious. <laughs> You're going back. <laughs> eyes I can't be and he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time all the time and my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that or his smile is killing me it's the way that he moves and the way that I laugh so I can't get enough I'm thinking about him all the time I can get him off Even if we're staying back 